Hi everyone, this is a quick video that I wanted to record. It's uh, basically a, a similar video that I did of the IF22A. I recently modified the end of this flashlight um, using a, a, a tail spring bypass. So I basically connected a bit of wire to the end of the spring, uh, to the top of the spring and uh, to the bottom of the spring. And that, in, uh, and that decreases the resistance. So this is something that I just learned by reading online. And um, yeah, I, I mentioned this in the other video as well, but if you're gonna do this, make sure that you're using 20 to 22 AWG uh, gauge wire. And um, when you're soldering as well, you get a large blob of solder on top, make sure that you shave that off, uh, file that off afterwards. Otherwise that blob of solder can actually dent your battery. Um, I just throw out 230Ts because of that. Um, mistake that I made so I just wanted to make sure you guys don't make that same mistake um, so anyway uh, the previous test that I ran with the IF25A with the 30T I got 683 lux 40T 685 lux and the 4000 so far 684 lux so pretty similar around that 683 to 685 lux using all three batteries um, so with this Telespring bypass, I have the uh, three batteries actually here with me and we're going to put them in and we're going to see uh, if we get any uh, increase in brightness. So uh, what I'll do, I've got the flashlight basically just put outside on the little testing area, just a little dent in the table. So I've got the, the camera in the same area that I had it last time. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a go. So I'm going to go and um, put in the 30T first. Okay, screw that on. Alrighty, so I'm going to get that straight into turbo. And let's see, let's see what results we get. And the, remember the number to beat is about 685. Wow. 836 to start off with. But it does rapidly go down um, but that's really significant I mean considering that we um, you know it was 683 before 683 lux from this ceiling bounce test so that's with the 30t um, let's try the 40t and see what sort of figures that we get okay um, so the number to beat 836 so 836 with the 40T. Okay, 820. We're getting 820. And I'm um, starting to reduce rapidly as well. Um, but you do get, you know, significantly longer time with those high output lumens. And um, that head of the flashlight gets really hot as well. I can already feel it warming up a fair bit. This is the Sofern 4000 cell. This uh, is the cell that came with the lights, the stock cell. Um, apparently it is a rewrapped Samsung 40T. So let's go ahead and try this. It should produce around 820 lux as well, if correct. Okay. 798 try again 798 so 798 could be due to the light already um, being a little warm but uh, again significant improvement over the non modified version uh, non modded tail cap let's uh, try the Sofern 5000 in there and um, see if there's uh, any difference so 832 i think that was the highest lux reading that we got and uh, we nearly got about 800 there so turbo and um 768 and that's with the so 5000 768 and that reactivated reactivation of turbo starts off a lot lower again around the 700 mark so let's just chuck in the 30T again, just for fun. See if we if it goes back up to that 832 mark or around about near. So we can take into account that effect of the light being warm. Um, reset. And there we go. Look, 800. It's reached 800. Okay, starts off at 800. That should answer some questions for you guys, especially if you want to uh, mod this torch. It's a very simple... It's a very, very simple mod, and um, 
yeah, like I said before, the only two things to keep in mind um, is to make sure that the uh, yeah that blob of solder in the top is is uh, filed down so you don't get unnecessary tension on the battery and um, damage it. To make sure that you're using 20 to 22 AWG wire. I'm just a hobbyist in terms of electronics and flashlights. Um, you know, I'm not going to really give out soldering advice or anything like that, given that I probably need uh, to practice my soldering skills a lot better. But you can read a bunch of these uh, instructions online and tutorials on um, how to do this. Um, there's different types of spring bypasses. I know some people use uh, desoldering braid, which is made of copper. Uh, I did it this way because I think it will just last longer, um, being that copper wire, you know, will fatigue over time and will break. So I thought that I'd just use um, this method and uh, thick wire that I found um, inside uh, an old vacuum cleaner. So uh, if you have any questions and or any comments, um, you know, even any tips on how I could make this light brighter, uh, you know, any, any comments on my crappy soldering as well, I'd be happy to hear you out. Just leave a comment below. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did find it helpful, just uh, remember to like and um, subscribe for more.